Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video, I'll show you how to create a card purse for regular size cards. Uh, the samples were stamped with Unity's new Believe in Fairy Tales November store kit. You need a 5 and 3 quarter by 11 piece of cardstock to start out with, and you score it at 10 and a half and 6 inches. The next score line will be at 5 and 3 quarter, and if you use the score pile, it doesn't have that groove. So what you do is you slide your 6 inch score line down to your 5 inch groove and then score at 4 and 3 quarter. The last score line you need is at 3 quarter inches. Again, we don't have that on the score pile, so you line up your left edge at 3 and a half inches and score at 4 and a quarter again. For the bottom, you score, uh, you turn your paper and you score at five inches. Now you have to pre-fold all your score lines. I'll make it easier to assemble. And then use scissors to cut the score lines on the bottom all the way to the horizontal score line. On this last piece, the long piece is the glue tab, you can cut this completely off. Now for my sample, I've stamped the chocolate chip cardstock with Adirondacks Espresso ink. So I already prepared that. It takes a little while and added score tape to the glue tag as well as to the bottom part. Before we um, tape it together now, I already prepared my card, my box front and back and punched a cir half circle to make it easier to take the cards out later on. I won't be able to tape this on and then punch, it's too thick, so what I do is I take the stylus and mark where I need to punch for the front as well as for the back piece of the box. And then take my, I'm using a 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch from Stampin' Up. Line it up with my marked half circle and punch it out. Now it's time to assemble and I start with the side flap. Just take the liner off and tape together. And then uh, fold the side flaps in, take the liner off for the bottom, fold over and then fold the other side over. Now, if you want to add ribbon as handles with the brads as shown in the photo tutorial on Split Coast, you'd have to do that before you assemble. Or it's just easier that way. Um, I'm using score tape, just I made the ribbon 10 inches and added an inch of score tape to each side of the handle and use that to hold my ribbon in place. Tape it on. Repeat that on the back or oh, the front, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don't know what side that is. And then we just have to decorate the front and you're done. I hope you have fun making these cute little boxes. See you next time.